What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get the Mojave 10.14 dynamic background that changes throughout the day based on your time. It may sound like a really minor feature, but it's really aesthetically pleasing. And I know I'm a fan of it. I know a bunch of other people are fans of it, but unfortunately they don't offer it on iOS. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install it on a jailbroken iOS device, iOS 11 and 12 guaranteed. But I'm curious guys, if you're on an iOS version below 11 and you do try to follow this tutorial, let me know in the comment section down below if auto wall does work on iOS 10, 9, whatever you're on. I doubt it'll work on anything below 8, but uh, you never know. So guys, like I said, you have to be jailbroken to do this. There are currently two jailbreaks that support iOS 11 through 12.1.2. The one that I personally use is Uncover. I found it to be the most stable as well as the only one that supports up to 12.1.2. Electra, I'm sure, will soon support 12.1.2, but at the time of making this video, it does not. So guys, now that you're jailbroken, you should have an app called Cydia. For those who are new to jailbreaking, Cydia is basically a package installer. What you install during a jailbreak are called packages. You can get a lot more technical than that, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, you're basically going to be installing a package that allows you to set custom images as the background for certain times throughout the day. So go ahead and open up Cydia, let it load up, navigate over to the Sources tab, click Edit, and then Add in the top left. It'll pull up this pop-up and just type in julioverne.github.io and then click add. So pretty much guys, what it's doing is it's pulling from Julio's GitHub. There's a few files it needs to be able to tell it what packages are on the repo and where they can be found. It'll reload data just like it does when it refreshes sources, then click return to Cydia. Then go to the search tab and type in auto wall. Those of you who have multiple sources may also have more than one auto wall because it's a pirated or rehosted tweak. Make sure the one you're downloading is from the GitHub page. You can tell because your depiction page will look exactly like mine. You'll also want to install Files of File Manager. So go ahead and type that into the search bar, find it, and then click Install. It'll show more than one package here to be installed. That's perfect because we need those dependencies to be able to use all the functions of Files of. So this is a little bit different than the installing sources page. This is basically just showing you that it's it's unpacking the Debian file, installing it to your system, everything just automatic. Then you'll want to click Restart Springboard. Now, obviously, I can't respring and still record my screen at the same time, so I ended the screen recording and now I'm picking back up. So, guys, it'll come to your lock screen after you respring. Then, uh, next thing you'll need to do is open up Safari, go to the link down in the description down below, click Direct Download. You'll need to click the three dots so that you know it downloads inside Safari. Then, click Open in Falza once the file is downloaded. Go ahead and click on that zip so it'll extract it. Then, you'll see that you have 16 photos in here. Go from 1 to 16, saving every single one to your camera roll like I did here. So we'll open up the settings app, go down to auto wall, manage wallpapers, and click the plus button. It'll pull up your camera roll and you can select photos and assign it to times. Now this isn't completely random, there is a list of times that I have in the description down below that you can follow. Make sure to assign the right picture to the right time or else it won't go in the right order. Three thirty a.m. should be the last photo that you have to do, and once you're done, your list should look like this. So yeah, guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys love your Mac OS backgrounds. I will have some more tutorials coming soon for how to build your own tweaks using Flex. So if you guys want to see how to remove ads for your favorite apps, maybe even tweak it a little bit, 
change some colors here and there, block jailbreak detection, hide the status bar, and a bunch more stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be doing all that soon. So yeah guys, my name's Rover, and I hope you guys have a good day.